What's going on everyone? This is Kevin Breeze here and in this video I'm going to be showing you three features that the LG Stylo 4 has that the iPhone 10 doesn't have. Now these are features that I've not gone over in other videos and they're features that I believe can be incorporated into the iPhone 10 in some sort of form. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first feature that I'm going to go over is called Mini View. So the idea behind this is that it can shrink the size of the display of your device so that you can use it easily with one hand. Now both of these devices do have large displays, which I like. That's a good selling point for both of these. The iPhone X has a 5.8 inch display and the LG Stylo 4 has a 6.2 inch display. But when I'm holding the devices in one hand and I do have large hands, I still can't really reach all the way up to the top into different parts of the device, and same with the LG Stylo 4. If anything, it's worse with the Stylo 4. So to activate this feature, all you need to do is go to the settings, go to display, and then for mini view, make sure that's checked on, and then you literally just grab on to one of the buttons on either the left or right side, and you now have a much smaller version of the phone here that you can use just like normal. So this might come in handy in certain situations where you want full access to the entire display, but your hands simply aren't big enough. Another cool thing about this feature is that you can move this little mini display anywhere you want on the device. You can put it on the left side, you can put it on the right side, and you can also resize it, which is great to see as well. So you can really customize this to any way that you'd want. And when you want to disable this feature and bring it back to the normal size, all you have to do is tap on the X, and then suddenly you have the device just like it was when you started. So I believe they could easily incorporate this feature into the iPhone 10 if they added some sort of swiping gesture. Now the next feature that we're going to be going over that the LG Stylo 4 has that the iPhone 10 doesn't have is the feature of using the fingerprint sensor on the back to access the notification panel. So if you just swipe your finger on this fingerprint sensor on the back, it immediately pulls down the notification shade. As you can see, I just did that there, and you can pull it down a second time to bring the notification shade down even further. So I don't really have any notifications at the moment, but if I did, I'd have full access to them right now. Now this feature is not activated by default. If you want to activate it, you just need to go to the settings, go to general, go down to shortcut keys, and then turn on view notification panel. So the iPhone 10 doesn't have this feature at all. And it would be nice if it did have a feature like this or similar to it because in order to access the notification panel, you really have to move your finger all the way up to the top to get it up there. And that's not really a natural type of movement because your hand is usually going to be at the bottom of the device. So maybe instead of having it be something on the back, Apple could have it so that if you just swipe down on the right side here, instead of pulling down the Siri search, it would pull down this shade here so that you can access this. And if you pull down from the left side here, then you'd access the notification panel. Let me know what you think of that idea and let me know if this is something that Apple should add. And finally, the last feature that I want to go over that is not available on the iPhone 10 is the ability to double press on the power button to activate the camera. So all you have to do is just double tap on that power button and the camera immediately comes up. Now this is another feature that you have to activate by going to settings and then shortcut keys and then once you're there, you just turn on open camera using the power button. And it doesn't matter where you are in the phone or what app you're in, if you double tap on that power button, you suddenly are able to access the camera. Now on the iPhone 10, if you double tap on the power button, all it does is turn off the display. And if you hold down the power button, you activate Siri. So I think what they should do is that if you double tap on the power button, then you're able to activate the camera. And I would actually take this step even further and have it be so that if you double tap on the power button, you could actually map it to open up whatever application you want. Because you should be able to have that ability with any application, because what if you want to start up Snapchat really quickly, for instance? It would be really cool to have the power button double as kind of a multi-function button so that you can activate any app in a short period of time. So let me know about those three features that the LG Stylo 4 has that the iPhone 10 doesn't have. And if you'd like to see those features on the iPhone 10, let me know as well. If you enjoyed this video, give me a like, make sure to subscribe to the channel, and give me suggestions below on what you'd like to see me cover next. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.